Pennsylvania. Northeast large express dealers and one of the large express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy. I'm the express guy here at FNS. More than likely, if you contact us, you'll be speaking with me. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of a 2023 Express 817 Bass. And take note in the background there, those are our neighbors, the cows. We live out here in the country and uh, we're proud of it. We're in a very rural area. They might even talk to us during the video here. <laughs> but anyway, um, we just got another 2023 817 Bass in. It's a silver boat uh, with silver spray and liner and silver hull with the blue appearance package. And we'll get to that here in a second explain the appearance package. But uh, like all Expresses, they come with an all-aluminum uh, custom-made trailer that are made by Express uh, at their factory to fit the boat spot on. Uh, these boats, the H-Series, come standard with aluminum wheels. And then we upgraded a couple things on the trailer, like for instance a matching spare tire. And then also to a lighted logo trailer step. So this uh, logo is lit up at night. Car saw LED lights are standard. Sight guides are standard. Trailers fit spot on. Makes it very easy to load and unload. You take note to the four bunks along the back side. But there's a 90 Yamaha SHO. All Expresses are packaged exclusively with Yamaha. And that's, uh, we are exclusive with Yamaha here as well. And uh, usually most Expresses are, have the max horsepower. This is the max horsepower on this boat is a 90, which that's what this motor is. And it runs roughly mid 40s as far as speed. Usually they're packaged with the SHO VMAXs, which have more power than the standard motors. Stainless prop, of course. Another upgrade is six inch hydraulic jack plate. It's an upgrade to whether you go with a, a manual jack plate uh, or hydraulic. We suggest with Express's pad haul boats, they perform better in every way with a jack plate. And about half are sold with manual and the other half with hydraulic. Drop me a line, I'd be glad to explain the benefits uh, with going hydraulic. Of course, it, uh, shallow water is one of the benefits, but also little things like loading, unloading off the trailer makes it easier. And of course, performance helps a little bit with performance too. We mentioned the blue appearance package. So what that means, uh, there's six different possibilities for color of the appearance package. This one is blue. So you get the blue side stripes on the boat, blue sea deck, and blue matching stripes in the seats. If you're not familiar with sea deck, uh, the H17 and H18s come standard with it. An easy way to explain sea deck is all the benefits of carpet with none of the disadvantages. It's very easy to clean. It dries very quickly. Hooks don't snag in it. And nice thing down the road too, if you damage a panel, it's easier and much cheaper just to replace that one small panel rather than the whole rear deck. But it's also very nice to walk on. Every Express that we get here at FNS for stock, we order with C-Deck, but the H17, like this one, an 18, comes standard with it. You probably, of course, if you look online, you're familiar with Express has quite a reputation for ride and handling and they live up to it. Uh, they rival many fiberglass boats as far as ride and handling and turning and performance. And the main reason why they do rival a lot of the fiberglass boats is the design of their hyperlift hull. So what that means is the very back, there is a pad. And this pad's about 12 inches wide and about two feet long. So when you're running fast with the motor trimmed out, the only thing that's in the water is the pad. That makes the boat go faster and it makes it ride better because there's very little of the, the uh, boat actually in the water. And then along with their aggressive steps and then reverse chines, which you can see peeking behind the strap here, makes them very stable and turn very sharp too. Many aluminum boats, when you turn them at speed, will skip like a rock. Expresses will turn on a dime. They turn immediately. Because they're all welded, all aluminum, there's no wood in any of the Express boats. Express was the very first company to invent the all welded aluminum boat. And they still continue to be the leader many years later. 
kind of a cool story. They're privately owned, and it's actually third generation that owns it today. Uh, the grandfather started it and vetted the all aluminum, and now it's the grandson that, that runs the company now. They're a very good company to deal with. Good old boys from Arkansas. Other upgrades that we get on most of the H17s, like this one and H18s. You can see the switch panel here. Uh, first switch is the lights kit, so that ever all the compartments are lit, including the live well. Next switch is the recirc live well. So that's an upgrade. So the live well is a recirc separate pump to recirculate the water uh, for when you're driving down the road to keep the fish fresh. It also has a pump out as well. This one also has manual bilge and also an automatic bilge. And then your main power switch and your nav light switch as well. Standard gauges, water pressure gauge, fuel gauge. On the other side, peeking through here, you can see the tachometer and the trim gauge. Another upgrade to this boat is a Humminbird Helix 9 side imaging. Like all Expresses we sell at FNS, we go through them very thoroughly. It's important for dealers to do that. Every boat company, regardless of the company, there's quite a few things that need to be checked and fixed when they come from the factory. That's not just Express, that's every boat company. And the good dealers will take their time to go through every boat very thoroughly before you get it. And then we also go to the water and water test every boat because there's certain things we can only test in the water, like the correct propping, uh, leaks at fittings, that type of thing, which we have to check in the water. And then we also go with most customers to the water to show you how to use your Express. We go over everything thoroughly here with you on land, then we go to the water after that as well. Other upgrades with this particular boat, uh, Humminbird, or I'm sorry, Minkota, uh, Altrex 80, so 24 volt, with down imaging, built-in transducer, and iPilot with spot lock. That's an upgrade. And we do a lot of other upgrades here as well. If you like to add front fish finder or multiple fish finders, live imaging. We do both uh, Garmin, uh, Minn Kota, Humminbird, Power Pole. We do a lot of shallow water anchors here as well. Uh, a lot of upgrades to Power Pole, uh, onboard chargers. And I'm glad to help you with any of that information. It can be overwhelming, not just with Express and all their options and packages, but with all the possibilities beyond Express, especially with electronics. But I'm here to help. When we jump in the boat, you'll take note that this is a very wide boat. Their H series boats are very wide with a 95 inch beam. For a 17 footer, this boat has a lot of room in it. Big rod storage, center storage, side storages. You can get just over six and a half foot rods inside the storage. If you bend them up, actually if you bend them in the end there a little bit, you can get a little longer than that. This storage goes all the way up underneath the front deck. Middle compartment for a, a tub. You can see the light, which is part of the light kit, which is right here. Other side compartments. You see these two are the same. the old tricks foot pedal new standard for 2023 is a thick C deck pad for the middle passenger or we can upgrade to a foldable seat as well on the back deck 18 gallon fuel tank in the back is where fuel tank onboard charger 
This one's upgraded to a three bank charger for all three batteries. We also do a lot of other upgrades too, whether you want a 36 volt motor, 24 volt, 12 volt, whatever you'd like. You can see your pumps back here. Tackle storage. In the back you have one on each side, which is the same size. You can see the uh, ribs there in the middle to put your tackle in. Live well. And like I said, this is an aerated and a recirced live well with pump out. We're quite proud of our service reputation here at FNS. If you look at our Google reviews and Facebook reviews, you see we have an exceptional uh, history of, of of service and we're quite proud of it. We sell expresses all over the nation. We have people from all over the 50 state, well, I shouldn't say that. I'd say 48 states. We haven't sold any to Alaska, of course, or Hawaii, but I'd say 48 states all over the nation we sell boats and are quite proud of it. People come from here for their service and we appreciate that. Also quite proud of having uh, the, one of the best CSI scores of any Yamaha outboard dealer in the nation. We're routinely top five. And what that means is every uh, customer uh, gets a customer service index score uh, from or submitted to them uh, from Yamaha and then they'll send it back into Yamaha and rate their dealership. And we're quite proud that we've been in the top five of Yamaha's customer service for many, many years. I appreciate you watching. Our contact information is at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to shoot me any questions. Oh, one more thing I almost forgot. A very common question, what is the difference between an H17 and an H18? The difference is right here, 10 inches. So the 18 footer is 10 inches longer in front of the seat post than what the 17 footer is. I promise that's the last thing I'm gonna say. I appreciate watching. Have a good day.